Okay, pause. <laughs> We're all looking at the screen now. They fucking hear everything through the uh, the light bulbs, eh? By the way, <laughs> conspiracy theory, eh? I could do that. I could use a nano bio fucking camera filament and put in light bulbs and film them. I could do that if I I could think it. You better hope nobody's got the budget. <laughs> All right, so uh, here you go. What is this? This is the picture of the Earth. I like the first video, that was very great, the video just before there, is like, what was that about, that video? That, was it? That was about brainwashing. How do you brainwash? Well, you repeat it. You repeat the same thing over and over again. You know if somebody's resisting the concept, if you keep fucking repeating it, after six times, they'll incorporate it in their brain, they may not agree with it, but repeat it another thousand times, they'll start saying it. I could start a campaign called Wetha Pat Pat for like fucking four billion dollars this week. And in like 24 hours through Twitter, everybody could be go walking around going Wetha Pat Pat. Wetha Pat Pat. <coughs> okay, so here's the, uh, the picture of the Earth from, uh, from space. There it is. Since you were a kid, you've seen this image. But uh, you've never seen it from that point of view. You've never seen that with your eyes from that scale of a model, that point of view, from outside of the planet's surface. But your brain has three-dimensionalized, oh yeah, that's the Earth. How? Through repetition. Next image. How do we get to this point of the image? This is fucking funny. I think this is funny. Next image. Well, here's the... Uh, the first image that sold the whole thing. As you can see, that's clearly the universe. I mean, that's clearly the universe. I swear to God. I mean, there's the sun. I mean, I could recognize that thing. It's a bullseye. It's like a planet. It's an egg. Whatever. But there you go. You got each rung, the whole thing. 1482. This is when they came up with this idea. We are on that thing. It's a ball. Hey, we should go to the North and the South Pole. We didn't do it yet. It's a fucking ball. Hey, nobody's even like jumped up high enough to see if it is a ball. You can't do that. We don't have planes yet. It's a ball. You know what? We adopted this whole model like four or five hundred years before the airplane. Four hundred years before the airplane, pretty much. Like, 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 like beginning of the 1900s. They went to the North Pole in the 1900s. This is 1482. Nobody went to the top of the globe, to the bottom, or flew up, or built a skyscraper. That's it. It's been a decade since, like, Columbus hit America. That's it. You had Spinoza, Lebanese, everybody was fighting to say what the fuck we were on, how much land there really was. Real estate, right? Real estate. The only commodity that appreciates besides art. Right? These are the only things that appreciate. Everything is depreciating except those two. It's funny how these two are going to meet and what I'm going to talk about. Next image. It's funny that we said that this is the... This is what we're in right now. This is what we're on before any instrument of proof. Until, pause. Can you do it? It's funny, back in the 60s when, when they went to the moon, this is the first time we actually had like an instrument of flight to actually go high enough to actually fucking check out if what we agreed to 500 years ago was real. So if they were wrong after 500 years, the question is, would they tell you? University institutions, physics, the Royal Society in London, that's of course NASA, Newtonian physics, why objects move on a ball spinning a thousand miles an hour while it's going 26,000 miles around the sun. It's basically the model we accepted right now. I don't feel it's spinning a thousand miles an hour right now, that's because of gravity. Hey, gravity, what's that? That's the thing you can't feel. Oh yeah, can you prove that in an equation? Yeah, I can prove that in an equation. It took Newton like a book, three times thicker than the Bible, and he still couldn't finish his equation on how to prove gravity. He would try to prove gravity when you read Newton's book of Principia through like Stephen Hawking, 
or if you even find the original book, he would prove by saying that everything started with the word if. If you fucking take Newton's book of like if, if the earth is a ball and objects are being thrown this way, blah, 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 you know, that means that we're spinning at this amount of velocity and you can't feel it and why the objects don't go flying off into the universe is because of gravity, because of a vacuum system of air pressure. I mean, he went to hyperbole, into, into ifs. I mean, if you were to highlight every time the word if came up in Newton's book of, of physics, you, you could fucking use it as a flashlight in a dark room, man. It's like, it's like you, you fucking get out of the cave with the amount of times if is highlighted in his fucking book on physics. It's like if is every... Here's like a perfect example of them landing on the moon. I mean, it's proof right there. This is an official NASA photo of the first Apollo 11 lunar module Landing on the moon. I mean, it's right there. This is the proof, man. It's the pictures right there. It's landing on the moon. But the only problem I have with this picture is that it's taken from the moon. <laughs> I don't know what the big deal was with being the first guy on the moon. Uh, it seems the camera crew was already there. <laughs> the fucking tripod. Camera B C. You know, back in the 60s, I mean, I know people who believe they saw the landing on the moon because they heard it on the radio. <laughs> Ethel, get in here, they're on the moon, I can hear the dust. My God, I can hear him walk. He's walking slow. There's zero gravity up there. Jesus, they're on there now. They're on there now. I could just see a guy in a sound studio just taking fucking, like a bag of salt going, whoosh, landing on the wooden floor and just going, oh my God, they're there. They're on it right now. Ethel, get in here. Like, how would you know? There was no independent telescope to even, like, say they went to the moon. The only s telescopes that I could actually film it were NASA telescopes. Yeah, according to the people who landed on the moon, they landed on the moon. <laughs> Nobody else could fucking check it out. <laughs> so there it is. That's a fucking photo. There it is landing for the first time, but how? How? Next photo. It's funny how NASA gives us these little pictures, eh? Every week there's a little NASA photo of what they're up to, just to keep you fucking nursing off the teat or whatever. This is an amazing monumental uh, sort of feat of space exploration. This is the Galileo satellite. Full authentic NASA imagery of the Galileo satellite. Must have cost like tri a trillion dollars for this fucking operation. Very expensive. This is the Galileo satellite. They never knew it would go that far and reach Jupiter. You know, they didn't know. It's the first time anything goes that far. It managed to get there. There's Jupiter. There's one of its moons. I mean, it's clearly lining up to take some really good photos of Jupiter. Immediately followed by a camera satellite. <laughs> Perfectly composing the whole shot out in outer space. Amazing, eh? What the cameras could do when they fly. It's a, into outer space, a place we've never been to. That's amazing. Look at that. That's perfect. That's like the photo of the year, if you ask me. For a fucking satellite to be able to like, uh, you know, like wake up in outer space. We didn't even know we could do that, you know, and it, uh, unbelievable. I give it the, I give it the NASA. Let's go to another photo here. Another photo. Of, this is good too. Oh, let's zoom in. I love that iMovie sort of effect. I'm really in the gas. But how am I supposed to go? Yeah, that's the earth. From there. That point of view I've never seen. And it's funny when you click on Google Images, photo of the Earth, keep going. Because this is realistic. But every, you'll see 40 pages on Google. But it's always the same fucking photo. It's the same photo. They just changed the contrast. Check it out, keep going. Oh yeah, boom, 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 40 pages. Look closely. It's always the same. Oh, what is that? I guess this is a photo of the Hubble telescope taking a picture of itself. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's an authentic photo of the Hubble telescope out there doing its job. Isn't that amazing how they could take a photo of the thing taking photos? <laughs> out in outer space. Unbelievable. You know, they never crossed Antarctica, but let's go to the moon and take pictures of shit out in space. That's fucking unbelievable. You know, the instruments won't work in Antarctica. It's too fucking cold, but hey, let's go somewhere we, where we don't know the instruments will work. That's unbelievable. I can't, it just boggles my mind how they do this stuff. All right, next one, solar powered, by the way, solar powered. Look at that, environmental. Environmental in outer space. Okay, <laughs> that's my only fucking fan right there. Naomi, that's it, there you go. There you go, there's what you believe. That's it, that's it, that point of view you've never seen. It's fucking funny, huh? I think it's funny. You've never seen that, but everybody goes, yeah. Il prend ça pour acquis. Ah oui, c'est ça. 
L'affaire que j'ai jamais vue. <laughs> It's funny, eh? You should, you should think about these things, right? I heard that, you know, if you want to like program a human mind, what you do is you just repeat images to a, a young child while the brain is forming. Well, literally. Yeah, pretty much. And then, you know, the kid fucking grows up and you've wired the kid. It's fucking mind control. It's great. But you, I, it's an example. Hey, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. There could have been a camera rocket that got there on the moon, set up, <laughs> pulled out like a lens, and then filmed it. And processed 35 millimeter black and white film <laughs> in an atmosphere. <laughs> We don't know if cameras will work. All right, so um, anyways, next photo. Hey, hey, it's possible. Those guys are so ahead. They don't tell us, <laughs> right? <laughs> There you go again. Same fucking thing, same cloud patterns, always the same cloud patterns. Ooh, so many images of the earth. No, it's the same one. It's Africa. Okay, I want to test, test you guys. Because some of you guys are like, you're not convinced yet. That's the earth, man. Don't fuck with that shit. So let's do a little test on perception. I'm going to uh, show you a couple of images here. And then uh, you tell me... Uh, which one of the following images on the screen is a, um, an image of a painting painted by hand that looks real or is a, an image taken by a camera of something that actually exists? So image or photo, uh, painting or photo. Let's try this. So first image here, back cloth. How many people think that this is a painting? Please, come on. Give yourselves credit. It's okay, you can jump in, take a decision. <laughs> Five plus, how many people think this is a photo? <laughs> for you, you. I will say that that's real. That's good for you. <laughs> You're horribly wrong. That is, that is a painting, that's obviously a painting, right? I mean, look at this fucking Sunday painting, bad. It's like Bob Ross did it. And he was on the acid, it was like, he didn't make a nice little mountain. And had some trees, and then some fluffy bushes. Fluffy Art. bushes. Fluffy bushes, it's the dirtiest part of my show. All right, next, how many people think this is a painting by applause? Come on, you can do this. You can use your eyes. By applause, how many people think this is a photo? Yeah. But of what? This is a painting. Those who said it's a painting, you're right. Of what, what would that be if that was a fucking photo? Okay, by applause, how many people think this is a painting? By applause, how many people think this is a photo? Yeah. It's a painting. I did it. <laughs> okay, here, by applause. This is a bit technical here. Uh, how many people think that this is a painting by applause? How many people by applause think this is a photo of toys that are painted? This is a painting of toy toys that are painted. Cesar Santander, European artist, high realist. How many people think this is a painting by applause? Okay, by, by applause. How many people think this is a photo? Those said it's a photo, you are, you're close. <laughs> All right. Okay, by applause. How many people think this is a painting? How many think this is a photo? This is a painting. I did it. I fucking did that. Money on steroids. No, that's a fucking, that's what I got. Next, next. So I know what I'm talking about. This is a, 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 an official NASA photo of the North Pole. Go back. What is that? Is that you? Or is that the... Okay, go back to the other one. Go back to the other one. Go back to the other one. The other okay, this is an official... Sorry to give you shit there, Dan. You're doing a great job. But uh, this is an official... This is an authentic, apparently, from NASA. This is an authentic NASA photo of the, the, the Arctic, the North Pole. By applause. How many people think that this is a, uh, um, a painting? By applause. How many people think this is bullshit? <laughs> There you go, that's Europe. The sun's hitting it. Blaws, you think that's a photo? <laughs> well, satellite imagery, man, there's infrared and shit. All right, next image. This is Ali Lapia. Next image. This is Ali Lapia without an Adobe Photoshop shading. And this is the texture that I cut out with a circle to create the fake fucking moon called Ali Lapia. <laughs> Are you telling me that we just got to take black construction paper, cut out a circle, put it on fucking peanut butter and jam spills, and say, hey, it's eat the popo. <laughs> and you fucking swallow that shit every day? It's funny, I do this today because the Google, you saw the Google today, they had the Hubble telescope. It looked like a kid's drawing. Did you fucking see that today? That's why you know, I'm doing this today. So this is the next one. You can go to the next one. That, that's it. I mean, I just take out... 
I say it's not a circle. It's not a sphere. Right away, what do you have in your brain? Well, you think it's flat and there's water falling off into the fucking outer space, like Bugs Bunny? So either you have a square or, or a circle in your head. It's either Coke or Pepsi with the shape of the planet. What if it's bigger? What if there's more land that they're hiding from? This is a great painting. It's supposed to be Jupiter. It's funny, any telescope you try to get, the high-powered digital telescope, you won't see this. You won't go, oh, wow, it's exactly... They'll show you a little light. You'll never see this. This is like you got to get the big fucking telescopes. And then if you shoot at fucking Jupiter, I've talked to these guys, these astronomers, and they're like, oh, man, no, it takes like... How long does it take to get the photo after you point it at Jupiter? It takes about two years. They just like we just point it, we put it in our quadrants and our coordinates, and we don't get the image until two years. <laughs> and it took me two years to even access that telescope. I was like, oh my god, that is like five years down the tube, man. <laughs> like for all you know, it's like that's it. I mean, I think this is just paint spilt and bleeding into itself. Nice little images that they make at Area 51. All right, but they make you think it's saucers. Area 51 is all these spaceships. They got aliens down there, man. They're fucking they're landing on this planet. All right. Oh, this is an actual. Okay, so that one was Jupiter. This is uh, Io, the moon of Jupiter. Am I lying? By applause. <laughs> By applause. Am I lying? Is this like, did I make this moon up? This planet up? Did I make this? This is a homemade moon. By applause. Okay. By applause. If you think this is really Io, the distant moon of Venus. No. This is a fucking actual moon of Jupiter called Io, NASA. I think it's just a close-up on bad acne. You know, and then they just ran it through like a saturation yellow filter on Adobe. You know what I'm saying? Any? That's not an Adobe crown. Do you remember when Pluto was a planet? Yeah. What happened to that shit? We were at nine planets, and now we're at eight? Like, and everybody's like, huh, okay, we were off on our solar system. Uh, we're not nine planets, we're eight. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. I noticed that. Everybody else went back to bed. You know, like, you know, like, you're like, we're saying it's nine planets going around the sun. And then suddenly, like, in the year 2000, what, seven, eight? After fucking Y2K, uh, we fucked up. Pluto's not a planet. That's, no, 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 no. You don't fuck up on planets. You can't fucking tell me for 500 years that there's nine fucking planets and then just try to slip it in the Yahoo front page. Uh, we discovered Pluto's too small to be a planet. Sorry, <laughs> we fucked up. There's only eight. Like, come on, you can't just do that. And I go, mm -hmm, and suck my thumb and, you know, eat your fucking shit pad balloon. There's no fucking way. What about the guy who works at NASA and he just studied Pluto? That's all he fucking learned. He went to university. This poor sucker. What's he doing now? He's fucking on the street, penniless. There's nothing to do. He just studied one fucking planet. You know how they get become specific in their physics and they study a planet from a picture they've never fucking seen. They're like, I'm an expert on Jupiter, man. No, no, no. I know Mercury inside out. I fucking find out the news. It's like, uh, what are you doing here, man? Well, I came in for work. Dude, didn't you hear the news? What? Pluto's not a planet, man. <laughs> you were off, man. You were fucking way off. It's a moon. You screwed up. It's too small. For the light emissions, we're big enough to be called a planet. Because <laughs> apparently, that light in the sky, they were saying, was that picture they've been feeding was Pluto, <laughs> suddenly one day, diminished rapidly. So they had to come up with something real fucking quick, because that thing they fucking pointed at the sky, that's Pluto. That's moving around. It's like, oh, suddenly one day everybody's like, hey, uh, what happened to the light on Pluto? It's like, uh, did, that, uh, did that bulb go out? And then there was a big debate. Well, we can't decide whether it's a planet based on how much light we see. This is ridiculous. you got to give us more to work on. Like, uh, like a rocket that sends us there to check out to see if it's big enough to be a fucking planet. You know, like, no, nobody's going out of this shit. They're just taking NASA's. I mean, one day NASA could come out and say something on fucking Yahoo, and we'd all be, like, repeating it. Like, we'd just be like, yeah... It's like, uh, we found a distant planet off the distant moon Io of Jupiter. And I'd be like, wait a minute, are you saying, there'd be a bunch of fucking Star Trek physics nerds at NASA going, wait a minute, are you saying that moons can have their own planets? That's fucking crazy. You're saying planets can revolve around moons now? Oh my god, planets can revolve around moons! And they'd be flipping out. Oh, maybe we can... Moons have planets too, man. It just keeps going. This, this is a, mo uh, a, a moon they discovered off of uh, 
off of um, uh, Mars. And we said, Opipapa, and if you do a close-up on it, you see all the craters and the texture of the moon on my shirt. There it is. It's just that. It's just a bunch of paint. <laughs> Next image. Next image. I'm having too much fun up here. You guys should fucking join me. All right, so uh, there you go again. I mean, is this a painting or is this a cartoon? challenging the whole thing, eh? It's like, wait a minute, you're saying that's that's a drawing? How are you going to know? Next image. Do we got another one after this? Oh, this is amazing. Slow it, pause it, pause it. This is unbelievable because they got a really distant shot into the, uh, the, the quasar, um, what is it, the um, Sirius? Sirius uh, quadrant? It's like a galaxy, a couple galaxies over to the left. Unbelievable stuff. They got some amazing photos of uh, uh, supernovas, their suns, basically, that are actually exploding or being created. And this, they've never seen this before, this many suns actually colliding and exploding in their creation process all at the same time. And they actually came up with a new term for it. It's a collisionary supernova. Unbelievable that they actually caught this. If you get a zoom in on this, there's a zoom in that Hubble did on this. These are actual fucking suns being formed. Unbelievable. Look at this. All these fucking suns. Can we get another? Keep going. And they're being formed on a Christmas tree. <laughs> Next one. Unbelievable. How many fun? Oh, this is amazing. We just went to Mars. Hey, big round of applause now for the Americans go to Mars. And this is the official image of them landing there. <laughs> it's fucking funny. It's like, isn't it amazing how they were landing there and they had, they already had an airbrush artist with his easel set up to paint it land that quick. It's like, unbelievable. How many people think this is real? This is the official landing. Oh, then they got another one with a, a metal sort of pipe and sand in black and white. That's proof. They were there, man. They're landing on the sand. Check it out. That's it. There you go. Some more images. This is what they're doing on Mars right now. Moving around with their little rover. That's a real photo. Look at that. that was, this is another. This is another. I swear to God, they're on Mars right now. Look at that. This thing's moving around. I don't even know what it does. It's like a, a weird sort of... Uh, Sample collector. It's a spider. Yeah. It's a spider sample uh, sampler. Yeah. It's a spider sampler. <laughs> sand sampler. It's a sand sampler. They call it. Well, it's and getting spice. It's, get, it's getting spices from Mars. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Right. Go to the next one. Yeah, they're on Mars. That's unbelievable. Big round of applause for the Americans finally accomplishing something. That's amazing. And this is it. This is what. Pause right here. This is what's amazing. I was trying to figure out like uh, they they brag about like at what distance the Hubble telescope can like get a picture of space, and uh, I want to know what was the furthest this thing could like get a picture of our universe, right? And uh, this is it, it's, um, is that 14 billion? It's 14 billion, 14 billion light years, which is unbelievable if you know light years, and I know you, this is a light year crowd. I could tell like you, go, but, um, <laughs> right? 14 billion light years, that's unbelievable that a camera would get that distance. The only problem is, is that I never measure distance in, uh, in time. I had never gone up to somebody and said, like, uh, how tall are you? Oh, I'm 42 years old. <laughs> That's the only problem here is uh, they make it, <laughs> they bamboozle you. Well, first with the whole concept of, like, What's the furthest distance? Oh, that's 14 billion light years. Uh, okay, uh, in kilometers? Oh man, that's difficult. I mean, we're talking light years. This is really fucking far, and we're at 14 billion of them. Do you want to know how much one light year is? And so then I did the, uh, the research. Uh, one light year, one fucking light year, one light year out of the 14 billion light years is uh, I don't even think we have a fucking name for this number, do we? That's like, that's, what is that? That's what we got, we got a billion here, and that's like 10 trillion? trillion. 10 trillion kilometers is one light year. This is where the math becomes intimidating. You just give up and you go, you're right. You're right, NASA. You've got so many fucking zeros. I wish I could get a fucking pay to check like that. 
That's fucking, what is this, the Matrix? What am I looking at here? I'm like, eh, where's Neo? You know, like, you want the red pill or the blue pill? You know, like, what is this? Like, and then this is what it, I times it. So I 14, 14 billion times 10 trillion fucking kilometers fucking gives me, you just give up. You're like, you're like,